Hello, my name is Ricardo Galvan and I am a technical leader with the Cisco Tag UCS team. In this video, I describe how to configure UCS CM6 series standalone server with 100 gigabit connections and Cisco ACI. In the next section, I will show you the ACI configuration. Proceed to log into ACI GUI. Once in the GUI, go to Fabric. Then Access Policies and select Policies. Go to Interface and select Link Level Policies. Please note that there are some policies already created by default. As a best practice, it is advisable to configure a new policy if the default ones have been used already. This is to ensure that policies in use are not affected by any modification done to the policy and avoid potential outage. For this demo, I will create a policy called 100g slash cl91 slash on slash enforce to remark its purpose for auto negotiation, select on enforce. The default value is on, however, from the explanation from the first part of this video, I mentioned passive cables does not have the circuitry to tune the signal. Therefore, it will require the other end to do this tuning. The auto negotiation on setting works well for the active cables. For speed, select manually 100 gigabit. For FEC, select CL91 slash RS slash FECT, as noted from the documentation. Keep as default the remaining values and submit changes. One important note from this configuration is that the auto negotiation on slash enforce was introduced in Cisco ACI version 5.01. Once the link level policy is created, it has to be applied to the port. Go to Fabric, then Access Policies, then go to Leaf Interfaces and select Policy Groups. Here I selected Leaf Access Port as I am connecting an end host. For this, select your Leaf. In this demo, I am using Leaf 20 or L20. Here in the option Link Level Policy, select the policy that was just created and submit the change. Once done, the policy group needs to be applied to the Leaf Interface Profile. For this, go to Leaf Interface, then go to Profiles and select the Leaf Interface Profile that matches with your Leaf. Expand and select the Interface Policy group where the link level policy was applied and submit the change. Finally, the leaf interface port policy needs to be applied to the leaf switch. Go to switches, then leaf switches, then profiles and select your switch. In my case it's leaf 20. Here in the associated interface selector profiles, select the one recently modified or created. Now the on enforce policy has been correctly applied. In this case, the ports 101 and 102 at ACI side are used. In UCI side, the interface 0 is connected to the passive QSFP and the interface number 1 is connected to the active QSFP. This side is already up. Therefore, the interface will remain the same. To verify the interface status, go to Fabric, then Inventory, and select your pod to look for the leaf switch which was configured. Here, select Physical Interfaces and look for your modified interface or interfaces. Interfaces are now up with 100G capacity.
This can be verified via CLI too. Observe that interface 101 is up, showing a full duplex 100G and FEC is CL91 as configured. Also, auto negotiation is on slash enforced. Note that in my case, port shows as out of service. However, the reason for this is because the port is not associated yet to any EPG. The interface is configured and ready. Thanks for watching this video.